Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm coming to you today with another tag video. And this one is called My Makeup Story. I came across this tag on the Bronze Goddess 01 channel here on YouTube and I love her channel for the inspirational and encouraging videos that she does. She's a really amazing speaker and motivator. So if you haven't checked out her channel, I'd highly recommend that you do. I'll leave the link down in the bottom bar. So now onto the tag, there are 10 questions and I'm just going to answer them. So the first question is, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? If I remember correctly, I think I was about 16 years old and I had no clue about makeup whatsoever. I don't know how I started putting the makeup on. I don't know who I had watched, um, what I had seen, but I attempted to put some foundation on and it was the wrong color. And I remember I was going to my year 10 formal, which is equivalent to you guys prom and um, I wanted to get glammed up so I did my own makeup and it was horrible but yeah everyone had to start somewhere how did you get into makeup I think for me it really like took off when I started my YouTube channel before that you know I was wearing lip gloss and a bit of mascara wasn't really good you know with applying product and blending and all that kind of stuff but when I started YouTube is when I gained more of an interest you know I started watching tutorials and you know picked up little skills here and there to the point where now I can do my own makeup and I know I've come a really long way because I remember buying a $40 pair of um, MAC lashes but I couldn't put it on to save my life I ended up throwing the lashes away because I was so frustrated um, not being able to do it and now I'm able to put on lashes like it's nothing you know I just pop it on and it's so easy and the other thing I didn't understand before was um, how the girls would get their eyeshadow to stay on their lids because for me being a brown skin girl I thought you know color doesn't work on me it doesn't stay on my lids not knowing that you had to apply a primer and a base in order for the color to stick on your lids because before I was just dusting the eyeshadow on my lids and you know when you get oily on your face and you get those creases and it used to frustrate me but now I think I do a pretty good job because I actually understand what I'm doing what are some of your favorite brands I don't have a particular favorite brand I wear what works for me I buy makeup from eBay I've bought makeup from Mac um, I bought makeup from cosmetics plus which is just like a you know local cosmetics store I bought makeup from the pharmacy so I really don't care if it works on me I like it I'm not too keen on spending a lot of money on makeup so I'm not gonna break the bank in order to get makeup products um yes yeah, so I'm not really stuck on any particular brand what does makeup mean to you for me personally makeup is something that I put on just to enhance my natural beauty I don't use makeup to cover up and mask up and hide who I am I use it just to highlight you know the things that I like about myself I like playing up my eyes I like wearing a bold lip you know that kind of stuff sometimes it's really worrying to me when I see some of these girls who completely change who they are with the makeup yes makeup can be considered you know like an art you know you transform and do amazing things with it but for me personally I like the natural look um, I do appreciate those who have the skill to you know do the transformations but you know it's sometimes I think you know you don't want to be doing that all the time because at the end of the day if you're transforming yourself so much that you're pretty much unrecognizable what happens at the end of the day when you have to wash all that makeup off do you still love who you are without all the makeup or are you only secure in yourself when you've got all that stuff going on so that's something that I sometimes wonder when I see people who like totally like switch up who they are with makeup if you could only wear four products on your face what would they be for me I think I definitely have to have my brows done because I think, you know, neat brows speak volumes for the face. Um, I definitely have to pop on some lashes. Um, I definitely have to put something on my lips. And maybe just a powder just to kind of dust over my face and just even out, you know, my skin a little bit. What is your favorite thing about makeup? You know what I love wearing makeup you know I love the whole process of you know glamming yourself up and like I said I love that it enhances your natural beauty but as much as I love putting makeup on I enjoy the process of taking it all off at the end of the day for me there's nothing better than getting all that product off 
and being left with a beautiful clean canvas. I love that feeling. What do you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? I don't think too much of it um, because like I said makeup isn't that serious for me. I buy stuff from the drugstore a lot but I have bought you know MAC products as well. Like I said I can't justify spending $200 on five products when I can get the same five products for maybe $20, $30. But for those of you who do makeup professionally, I'm sure you have a lot more to say about this. You most likely see the difference between using the drugstore products as opposed to the high-end products. But for me personally, it doesn't really make a difference. What is one tip of advice you can give a beginner? Practice, practice, practice. If you really want to learn how to do it, keep watching those tutorials, keep practicing, don't give up, be persistent because eventually you will be able to do the things that you want to do. If I can do it, trust me, you can as well because I had no clue about makeup when I started but like I said now I have an understanding of you know how to apply you know the importance of blending you know all those important things that you learn as you keep watching tutorials and as you keep experimenting on your face so um, keep pushing and keep practicing what is one makeup trend you never understood um, I don't know if it's so much a trend but one thing that really just makes my eyes grow big sometimes is the contouring um to me it's just fascinating how people can restructure their noses their cheekbones like like literally transform a round face into a chiseled face it's just amazing to me at the same time some people go really overboard with it also the whole you know sculpting your brows with the concealer some people create some really interesting brow shapes but then also highlighting under your eyes and adding you know the setting powder and that kind of stuff for me personally you know i do some light contouring on my cheeks I don't contour my nose, I rarely do the highlighting under my eyes. I've just seen too many instances of, you know, these girls who are doing all this stuff, then they have that white cast under their eyes and to me, I just don't think it looks cute at all. But yeah, it's really interesting to see how some of these things have really picked up and are really popular now and everybody's doing it since, you know, YouTube has blown up to be what it is now. What do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? You know what? I try not to think too much about it because at the end of the day, I'm doing me, everyone else is doing them, but I am an observer and I like to sit back and just watch how things are going on. And it's very obvious that it's very clicky. You know, certain YouTubers only communicate and comment under certain YouTubers if you're not at a certain level guru status um you know certain people will not interact with you even your skin complexion can play a huge role in you know your acceptance into the beauty community and how popular you're going to be and how big your following can get i watch certain youtubers because i simply enjoy watching them if i want to leave a comment i'll leave a comment in most cases they don't respond but it's all good because you know if i'm feeling the video at the time i'll leave a comment and also i've noticed that most of the stuff that goes on in terms of the beauty community happens on the other side of the world so you know in the us in the uk that's predominantly where a lot of it is happening for someone like me who's in australia um it's really hard to connect with you know people on the other side of the world not to say that i haven't i've got some amazing friends here on youtube who become more than friends you know outside of youtube i communicate with on the regular but yeah sometimes it can get a little bit frustrating in the sense that you know i love doing what i do and obviously i want to keep pushing and get to a level of success that i'm happy with but it's hard being on this side of the world because you can't attend the events and you can't do the meet and greets and you can't network because um you know i'm all the way over here so in that sense it can be a bit annoying but i'll definitely keep going because i know you guys appreciate my videos and for that i'm so thankful you guys are the reason why i keep doing it and you know i have had some amazing opportunities that i would never have imagined for myself as a result of doing youtube um so yeah i try not to get too caught up in it because at the end of the day this is just a stepping stone and a platform to greater things for me by god's grace okay guys so that's it i hope you enjoyed the tag i definitely tag anyone who has a youtube channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye